And there is a, a hand table for this, so uh, you can remove this, and you can put a, an attachment on here that it's basically double the width of one of these. It's really all it is, just a, a wider version of the arm board. So that's a possibility. You're gonna have that on the table when you get ready for this. The arm's been prepped, right? Let's assume that it has been. Somebody's got to hold the arm up. Somebody's sitting there holding that arm. And who's doing that? Yeah. Circulator. Circulator at this point. The arm that they're holding, <laughs> they'll be holding it with sterile gloves. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so that's all well and good. So let's create our sterile pill. At this point, the patient's intubated. Yes, yes. sir. Okay. Intubated patient. So. Well, I got something you gotta get. start at the bottom and kind of work our way up certain extent. So the general idea is we're going to drape this out, we're going to put a drape over our hand table. We're going to use U-drapes, a pair of U-drapes to go around the arm itself. Um, and um, after that goes the extremity drape. However, I did tell you that this patient has a tourniquet, right? So the tourniquet we're going to use might look something like this. This is an example of a tourniquet we'd use. We have lines off of it. I don't know why these lines have been cut. Uh, the control box for this usually sits on an IV pole, anesthesia runs this thing, okay? Some of these, this is a single channel, so inside of this there's just one <coughs> essentially inflatable tube inside of here, some of them have two of them. It's gonna go as high on the arm as possible in order to give as much room down here as possible. Now we did say this typically doesn't go directly on the skin, right? Mm -hmm. So it'd be a good idea to put a towel around there first. It's not going to be inflated until we're ready to operate. It's just on there, ready to go. This whole thing's been prepped, right? So we start by putting a, a placing a sheet. You know, we don't have this, the variety of sheet sizes that I would like. This wouldn't have to be a really large. This is a bigger sheet than you need. Um, so you're going to have to kind of stand back. And remember, your whoever's doing this should be young and gloved, right? Notice that I'm tucking my hands. So now I've created this area is now obviously this this great top sterile. So next thing we have are gonna be U drapes. They're a little bit difficult. Sometimes it's called split sheet, split drape. I to tell you how to put it on there. So there's the tails. There was those tails right there. Tails. Now this is all sterile, so I can use that as word service at this point. Let's see. Kind of begin to see how this thing is. See the little cutout right there? You can see the stickies? All right. Really be good to have a second person to help with it. So this is my, my partner here. Okay, right here. Okay, I want you to hold that. I'm going to pull it towards you. You got this one and open it out that way. Alright, I'll let that fall. Okay, so let's deal with the stickies. You're going to see people get messy with this. There's going to be trash around. It's going to make a lot of trash. Alright, so let's I'm gonna pull it like that. I'm going to leave this part on, actually. So, 
We want to exclude all this. We're trying to cover that up, right? So we're going to place this thing just so we cover that up. All right? Now you've got these. So since you're starting to peel, go ahead and bring it around to me. Okay? And now I'm going to bring this one around to you. All right? That's one. Go ahead and let that drop. All right. So that's one. We're going to put a second one on that is opposite first. Some places will only use one of these. Thing pretty isolated, right? Yes? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, we're still not done. We're going to really go over the top here. This is called stock net. Okay, this is a slightly tricky part. This part, you make yourself a puppet. Okay? Now, this is where we have a handoff. This is where this person is about to get uh, their job's about to be done. So, you're going to make a little puppet here. You're going to grab whatever the hand, the foot, whatever you're prepping, and then this pulls down over it. As far as you can get it down. Sometimes they've got little strings that you pull and you pull at the end line. Uh, this one's impervious stockinette, it means it has plastic over it. Some of them are just knit. Get that down there as far as possible. Now, once that's covered, I can finally set this thing down. I can finally set down the arm. Right? Okay, almost finished. Just a couple of little things that we can do. All right, now we're going to get the extremity grade. You know how it typically has a guy on it? It says, well, it shows you how to put it. All right, so let's look at this. I mm, don't see a guy. You see a guy on it anywhere? Okay. No guy. What, what does that say right there? Longer. The whole thing. Oh. Um, to better. A little hard to see, I know. Yeah, to feet uh -huh. or arm procedure, to head or leg procedure. All right, so Long it depends end. on. This one is. This drape can be used for a foot or a leg. But it says on here, you orient it differently depending on if you're using the leg or the arm. So this arrow points to the feet if you're doing an arm or to the head if you're doing a leg. So this is, we're doing an arm, so that means the arrow should be to the feet. All right. <coughs> Where's my helper? <laughs> I can hold that arm up. Extremity drape. Now, the extremity drape's got that aperture to it and it stretches around the arm. And now I'm going to cover it. I'm going to pull this through. <laughs> now we've got a draped arm. Now we've got some options. Okay? There's Coban in here. Can you give me Coban on the top shelf? <laughs> It's a lot, yeah, you're right, it's a lot. Now what's the point of the stockinette, you might ask? Because the whole part, arm was pressed. Why do we put it in the stockinette? To so keep from to contaminating it? Well, we got to get in there, don't we? Yes. Alright. Let's say we're working on an elbow. Okay, it's an older nerve, something like that. Hand is here, right? And we, we tried to prep this hand, and we want it to be as clean as possible. We know that because of the nature of the way hands are and fingernails, it's hard to get them really good and clean, right? So we might take some Coban, which, yes, this is available sterile. This one wasn't, but it's available sterilely. You could do the same thing to a foot if you're working on a knee. Okay. Now what we've done, by doing it this way, is we have isolated the hand from the area that we're going to work on. So now we're going to go in here. We're going to cut this open so we can work. In this case, on the elbow, but wherever it is, we're going to work. Okay, 
expose that, we can even peel it entirely. Now we've exposed that, but the hand is now covered from this. Germs that we didn't get off of the hand are trapped there, and they're not going to be able to migrate into the surgical area. That's the point of the stocking hat. Seems kind of weird. You wrap it all up just to open it back up. And that is exactly the point of it. Around what? You don't have to square it out, no. Now, in this case, you, you don't do this with four squares. We do a lot of things with those four squares. They're really helpful, but you wouldn't for this case. Uh, you would have laps. Well, perhaps laps, perhaps ratex, whatever you have to say. Yeah. If it's something like carpal tunnel, you probably just have ratex because your, your incision's like that big. Uh, you might wrap the hand like this, um, but you're only working on about that much. The ulnar nerve, also that. If you're doing a more extensive procedure, you might have laps available. But, but yeah, just whatever sponge you have, have that up there. You might uh, lift it up with a towel there, just for purposes of trying to keep a, a nice, neat area where you're going to have something that's absorbent. This is not very absorbent at all. Moisture gets on this, it's just a little off. But you know, that, the, the towel there is just for absorbance. It's not because it creates any sort of a sterile barrier. So that's basically it. That's an extremity. Ta-da! Leg would be the same way. You just have to have somebody holding the leg up. We put a sheet down. We'd cover the non-operative leg with that sheet as well. You put the U-drapes on it. Of course, you know, you've got your tourniquet up there. Um, U-drapes go over the, the tourniquet, and then the extremity. The, in principle, is identical to what you just saw. Uh, 